everybody. Welcome to Learn With Seth. This is one of the videos as part of our Lessons in Law series. The focus is on OCR A-Level Law, but it will be useful to anybody studying law. If you like the videos, please do subscribe and press the like button at the bottom. Hello. Um, this is another lesson on the general elements of criminal liability related to mens rea. We've already covered fault, intention, recklessness, negligence and strict liability. So today's session is on transferred malice and it's fairly straightforward. First of all, what does transferred malice mean? Well, really what we're talking about here is when the mens rea of an offence directed at one victim is transferred to a different victim. So it's a sort of situation where you might go to punch somebody and um, you miss them, but you hit somebody behind them. Um, so your mens rea for the person that you intended to hit can be transferred to the person that you actually hit. But there are some rules. So let's have a look at the a case that illustrates this concept, R.V. Latimer. And here a man tried to belt another person, um, but they accidentally struck um, a woman who they didn't intend to strike. And so this illustrates this idea that the mens rea can be transferred to an unintended victim. And that's the whole concept of transferred malice. But, it can only be transferred when the types of offences are the same. So if you go and hit somebody, but you accidentally um, put your hand through a window and break that window, you've got an offence against the person and an offence against the property. Well here, transferred malice will not work because the mens rea can't be transferred as they're completely different offences illustrate this is R.V. Pembleton and here somebody threw stones towards a crowd in order to disperse that crowd. Unfortunately the stones missed the people but hit a window breaking it. And here it, it illustrates that the mens rea for an offence against the person can't transfer to an offence against property because they're entirely different offences. Hopefully you've understood transferred malice. It's fairly straightforward. This section will be of coincidence between actus reus and mens rea. If you like the video, please press like, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for listening. That brings us to the end of this lesson in law. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe to find more videos. Bye.